Jodie Marsh, your hair is even redder than my hair. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Is this going to mean we're going to clash or do you think we'll get on? No, we'll get on. You think? Okay. Yeah. I am going to put the battery in. Please, will you count us down? Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. Here we go. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. How many A's and A stars did you get in GCSE? 11. And you got three A levels? Yeah. How did you go from that to stripping at Stringfellows? Um, because I was bullied at school and I was told that I was ugly every day and I decided I wanted to do something to prove that I wasn't ugly, so somehow I ended up in Stringfellows. <laughs> what sort of impact then, long-lasting impact, did bullying have on you, do you think? Um, just, well, just that it emotionally scarred me for years, that I didn't have much confidence, wasn't very secure, wasn't very happy, um, had lots of negative side effects from it. I think you talked, haven't you, about depression? Yeah. Do you still suffer from that? No, not at all. But I did for a long time. Did you always want to be famous? Um, from about the age of 15, I think, and that was when my bullying was at its worst and I wrote in my diary that I want to be famous because I want to prove to my bullies that I'm worth something and the only way in my 15-year-old head I could think to show them that I'd become something was to be famous. And what would you say you're most famous for now? Uh, well, right now I'm probably most famous for bodybuilding. Um, but there are loads of things like obviously the lads mags and the army belts and um, lots of crazy things I've done over the years. When you say the army belts, do you mean the belts you dressed up in yeah. as if it were a dress almost? Yeah. Do you still have those? Yes. I'm going to auction them off for charity soon. What was your big break then? Uh, well, probably the belts. Like I'd done page three for the sun and the star and um, I'd done quite a lot of modelling, but then when I wore those belts out, it really went crazy because all the paparazzi got pictures and obviously the press just went nuts for that. How would you describe your relationship with the paparazzi now? I've always had a good relationship with the paparazzi all the way through because the way I see it, they're just doing a job in taking the pictures. It was the journalists who were writing the pieces that I didn't like, like back then, years ago, when they were being really nasty. Um, but I've never, I've always had a good relationship with the paparazzi because I know they're just doing a job. Can it be ex 